Hello and welcome to the part two of the end of term explanation videos. I'm very much excited to continue the remaining videos for great and advance. I hope you all are keeping well and doing great. As your exams are nearing, try to practice plenty times. Try to write and practice. And if you have any doubts, do put them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But if you're dropping in new to this channel, let me introduce myself. First of all, warm welcome. I'm Justin D'Souza, your math teacher. This is my channel, Best Math. If you find this channel useful, please do subscribe to it, like my videos and share it along with your friends. It would mean so much to me. And I also want to thank all those who have subscribed to my channel, all those who like and share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Now we will continue. The 11th topic, it is to find the, uh, you know, the, so solutions basically where the x value is there where we get real zeros and then they have asked to sketch the graph too many words let me just break it down now imagine this is a graph a simple graph this is a parabola because it is opening up words we know it is plus x squared and something like this okay now this whenever there is x squared positive x squared it'll be something like this now this is the graph. It's a brief, uh, you know, it is a rough graph. But what are the x values? Where do we have the real zeros? What does it mean? Now, if you see this x axis, this is the x axis and this is the y axis. Wherever the graph touches the x axis over here and over here, those are the solution. Those are the solution regions, uh, the solution points. So that is what we need to find. So there are various methods to solve the exact points, but the crude approximation uses idea of where it is. Now, in your regular lessons, you might have studied all this in detail and uh, you can check out the playlist on the entire lessons. It's there in the same channel, Best Math. You can find the lessons which were there in your exam. Uh, for your exam, all the um, lesson objectives I explained so you can watch the entire explanation there. Now here I will just tell you a shortcut method what you can do for your exam. So it depends on the equation first of all. If it is a graphing it's very simple but sometimes they'll ask you this one. This might be the option. So it depends on what are your options. If it's graph it's so easy because you can directly use your calculator to find it out. Take out your calculator Take any random point, say I will take 0, substitute 0 over here instead of x, I'll put everywhere 0 squared plus 3 into 0 minus 1. The answer is minus 1, negative 1. Look whether the graph touches minus 1. Yes, but what if 2 or 3 graphs touch the same point? Take another point, say minus 1 now. Over here, minus 1 must give me about minus 3, let me check. Let me put over here and over here minus 1 and last was minus 1. Yes, I'm getting minus 3 or negative 3. Similarly, try a few more points and check which graph gives you the exact point. All the others will be wrong. Only one graph can give you the exact answer. So that is the graphing part, direct shortcut method. It will work for any of the graph. Now, if you want to solve the x values directly, you can use mod phi and 3 and solve it. What is the coefficient before x square? When we go to mod phi, before pressing 3, look over here. This is the quadratic standard form. ax square, that there's nothing, so it's 1x square, plus bx, that is 3x, plus c, the constant term is minus 1. So when I press 3, I need to type this in. 1, 3, and minus 1. Now, the values are 0 0.30 and we have got negative 3.3. So you can see it's over here, negative 3.3 and positive 0 0.3. So where does this lie? This lies in between negative because now in calculator, we directly get the x value, but approximation method by the table method, we just get approximate, isn't it? Where is the zero? Wherever the sign changes and the sign is changing at minus, minus 4 and minus 3. You can see the sign of f of x changes over here at minus 4 and minus 3. So this is your one solution. And it is at 0 and 1. Again, you can see the sign changes over here. That is 0 and 1. 
that's it that's how you solve it so it's very straightforward now even over here if it is cube cubic graph is always like this since it's negative it's like this now before i continue i just want to recall if you see a parabola that's quadratic form x square if the x square is the highest degree power 2 is the highest degree and it is positive then it will always open upwards so you can eliminate the other graphs easily and then do a test value you will get, definitely get the correct answer but if it is minus it is minus x squared then it would open downwards it will be like this the graph now if it is a cubic graph x to the power 3 if it's plus x to the power 3 the right side goes up and left side goes down something like this whereas if it is minus you can see left side goes up right side goes down it is like this okay now this is just a basic understanding the left side is up right side is down there will be undulations that is fine now over here if you want to solve this directly you can use mode phi and cubic equations are given by four now carefully substitute the values first one x cube is minus one x squared is 2 now there is no x term that means it's 0 because there is no x term and then we have minus 4 over here put in the uh, find the values it's negative 1.1 that means the x values will be at negative 2 to negative 1 oh sorry wait let me just check the other this is the imaginary so we ignore that now over here you can see minus the other one so you can see is imagined that there's only one point cutting so minus 1.3 is over here which is the less and greater value so uh, oh sorry now there's one thing this is not zero you you know before zero there is minus one minus two it's in between those values negative 1.1 is between minus one and minus uh, two so these are the values we write now if you do the table method you can see the sign changes over here so these are the values how do we do the table method again calculator is very direct and easy press mode 7 7 is for table and then type in the equation minus x is by alpha x the whole q plus 2 alpha x square and lastly we got we get minus 4 now press equal to there is no other equation so leave it like that just press equal to start which is the starting point you want usually always start with negative phi like a, a proper value you know usually a good value good enough to get a brief understanding of the graph so i will write negative phi or negative four is enough and then end at say positive four and the step i want it as one i need values of negative four negative three one like that see the uh, table gives us negative four is 92 negative 3 is 41 negative 2 is 12 we have from negative 2 and now the sign change at f of x wherever the sign change there is a zero between those two points and then you can see the sign is not changing so that's the end 4 it's negative 36 it keeps on going so there's only one value that's how we solve it similarly you can solve the others it is very straightforward very simple directly follow the method which i just told you the calculator method if you want in detail you can find it in the uh, in the channel in the playlist but this is the easy one now over here it doesn't matter how what is the equation mode seven and type in the equation even if it's a cube uh, or to the power four or five it doesn't matter just type it as it is and then you cannot solve this directly in calculator if it is to the power of four so do the table method and start at okay uh, anyways now i'll just re change the values i've started at one but for this case it's fine i believe yes if you start at no you're you're not getting both the answers let me just go back over here the sad thing is you need to again type the equation minus alpha x to the power 4 minus x that is over here to the power 3 and lastly we have plus 4 and then you press equal to there is no g of x only one equation at a time and then start the value say at minus 4 and end it at say positive 4 
and the step will be one now you will get the value see it starts with negative one one eight and then negative 50 negative four then four see this change in f of x values that means there is a zero because you can see over here whenever there is values less than zero it will be negative and over here it's positive or it'll be positive negative so whenever there's change of sign in f of x there is a solution point in between those two you know wherever it passes so that's how we can easily find the values and see over here also one and two is also again mentioned so these are the answers same way please do it by yourself check them do it write it by yourself and then check for the answers so over here all the answers are mentioned you can do it in directly calculator or you can you know whichever method is easy and suitable depending on the problem solve accordingly so this is that over here now here they have just this this is the correct answer x is equal to 2 and uh relative maximum oh sorry one second i just uh, realized this is a different over here we were finding zeros now here we are finding the maximum and minimum values if you're finding the zeros it's just over here wherever it intersects whereas for the maximum and minimum it is basically where it dips and goes up you can see over here in this graph the dipping point the minimum value is between 0 to 1 can you see this minimum value how will you find it in the table the table you can just uh you know when you when you find it see over here where is the maximum f of x value you can see the maximum over here is at 32 and where is the minimum value minimum at the beginning we get is over here but also there is one important other thing which you must know there must be a sign change now here you can see there is no sign change but it touches zero so in this graph you will get understanding from 22 see that there was 22 over here at when minus one to zero it directly went down dipped if you find a value more than this say one over here you would have got something like this like you would have understood there was a dip so that's the thing how we can find it out is if you reduce the step in while graphing if you reduce it to 0 0.5 you will understand but just when looking at this values you must understand it's reducing like anything okay then there is a dip and it's going up so even if it's positive it's fine but from this values you'll see there's a dip and it goes up and then over here there is a maximum point and then goes down but now what is happening it's just keep on going down it'll go down forever because it's the cubic graph so you just ignore those points and over here it'll keep on going up ignore those points only focus points are these two that is the first two dips so that's it that is how you would find it or you can just solve this in calculator and understand where is the uh, solution but that is not asked over here just relate to minimum and maximum that is the dipping point so we are zero one and over here it is at four okay is it, it you know it's four to three you know it's not exactly four it's before four this is the approximate range because you you're estimating that's the thing similarly over here you can do it by yourself and then check for the answers maximum is close to zero whereas minimum is close to um two x value of two you can check check in by the table as well so that's that's the end of this topic next topic will be topic number 12 please stay tuned